It's um, five to three in the morning and I'm ready to go. Uh, here's my outfit. I've got, it's uh, from Crowned. Cute little Little Mermaid inspired outfit. There's even a, like a tail, <laughs> you know, shake your tail fin. Um, these years lay up. Let's see if I can do this. It's so hard to, I don't know why I try. <gasps> Hold on, wait for it. I'll get there. Oh, I might not get there. Girl, come on. Ugh, hold on. All right, for the full effect, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up in this lighting, but there's a silhouette of Ariel and a silhouette of Flounder. Oh, Ariel's on that side. Flounder and Sebastian on that side. Of course, you've got your dingle hopper. Got my signature. <laughs> I say that lightly. <laughs> uh, glow bun, and I'm adding some sparkle this year. You know, for extra glitter, because we need it. I think I'm ready. It's so awkward the mirror in the kitchen. I like really don't know what to do with that. Oh, now you can see the ears better. I'm excited. I'm nervous. I did not sleep well because I was too excited. I woke up like every 45 minutes like, it's a time. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here we go. Checking that good morning. I'm so excited to be here. It's beautiful morning. A bit brisk, but it'll warm up nicely. Well, actually it won't warm up. I love that Kelsey's cruise vibe. No, this is too short of a race for it to warm up, but it is a beautiful morning and I am very excited to be here. Look at that. Uh, yay. Here's our volunteers starting to set up. Got to this spot. The volunteers are the rock stars of this event for sure. All right, here's the scene. This the usual suspects here with the information, medical tent, gear check, Food and Bev, stage with the DJ, We've got some food trucks. Star Clips aren't open yet, or the crowds aren't open yet, I mean. So we'll go check out, see what characters there. Here's the uh, we are character so excited to celebrate with you. Crowds are in the parking lot, A, B, C, D. I don't know how far it goes out to, <laughs> but this is what it looks like, and you just sit. I like to sit on the outside edge. So I'm not like squeezed between people. That's my strategy. You're still, you're still fighting. Sweating, even though it's chilly. Let's go get our snacks. I'm, you guys, I'm trying with this camera. It's just not. It's not cooperating. They're still sending people out. I think I might have a chance at getting some character photos without a super long line. But for now, I'm gonna go get my um, 
Finish your head up. the Run Disney logo onto the Guardians building. That's kind of neat. I don't remember that. True to form. Forgot where I didn't look. I forgot to look where I parked my car, but air tag. Air tag went to the rescue. The video will never do it justice, but the moon is so pretty right now. Wow. I've been back for a little while. I just had, I wanted to wait to get my um, <laughs> uh, lightning links booked, so. I'm back now here. I'm going to show you what I came back with. It's tradition. The Mylar I wore on the rather long walk back to the parking lot. They've changed the walk back to the parking lot. I feel like they changed it for the 5K at the Wine and Dine too, but then it felt similar for the, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, it came in handy, but I folded it up nicely and I will bring it to the Krells tomorrow. So I'm going to pop it actually right now so I don't forget it. Right into my bag for tomorrow. My air tag is also in there for the car. It's just the, the one I pull out of my luggage and I put it in my car in the parking lot. Because like today, um, yeah, did not look at where it parked when I, I was too excited. And my punch was in there just in case. And then um, we've got... Power Aid, which I will throw in the fridge for later. Um, this was a bottle of water, but I put my element, element, element. I don't know how to say this. I put one of these in there, <laughs> however you say that. Um, and I've been drinking it. And then banana, which is great. So I have that for my corral breakfast tomorrow morning. Let's see what is in the box. Ooh, they're still doing the Tostitos. Sorry, the camera says no. I don't want to. Um, which is really nice. for the salt and fat there. Fruit snacks. Skittles. Peanut butter crackers. Fake cheese. And another honey stinger waffle, which I will put in my kit and caboodle. And I save them for corral breakfast down the road. I try to eat them in order of when they expire. Um, so I'll add that to my collection there. And that's everything I came back with. Plus the middle. Nah. What's a Little Mermaid song? Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? <gasps> I really like this medal. Not like a big pink person, but for the princess races, I'm like, yes, let's do the pink. And I love that they chose to do Ariel in her pink dress, but she's still running because she's fierce. With the castle in black behind, this is a really pretty metal. I, they use like a slightly different printing. It's still that stuff that will chip if you layer these metals. So I'd be careful with that. But they did this really cool um, layering in the back that looks like water. But my favorite are the sidekicks on the back of the metal. And it says 2024 on it. And the ribbon, 5K princess. Really cute ribbon. I think this is one of my favorite ribbons I've seen yet. Again, like I said, I'm not a pink person, but I like I like the pink ribbon. Oh my gosh, that was so fun. First off, I want to apologize because I don't know it, what I captured from that race. Half the time I thought I was recording, I wasn't. And it was really frustrating. Um, this is the first time I'm using this camera for this. I've used the DJI Pocket 2 for years with really great success. I busted it, so I bought this one, new one, which is so expensive and supposed to be better. And it does seem like quality-wise, I mean, I haven't edited anything yet, but I can just tell quality-wise it's better, but it's not as responsive when I'm in motion. So I don't know if I just need to figure out the settings a little bit better. Um, I might have to take the frames per seconds down. I have it you know, as high as it will go, so for quality, but I might have to bring that down to like 30 FPS or something. Camera talk, I really don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to cameras, but it was just a perfect morning. The moon is almost full, it's like technically full full, basically when we're in the corrals in the morning tomorrow, so that'll be really fun for the 10K. And just gorgeous, like 50, mid 50s, 50 to 50-ish degrees, perfect running weather. I still sweat, I sweat. When I run, I run sometimes in like negative degree, especially with wind chills, weather, and I will still sweat. <laughs> I sweat, anyway. I, I kind of like, I wore my interval timer, but I didn't turn it on. I was just like, I'm gonna run by feel, I'm just gonna go, and I ended up running a lot. I think I was really excited to run after being injured for so long. And it was, I do better 
not even like I don't care so much about pace to me it's just kind of fun to track and see uh, but I don't hold a lot of I don't place a lot of importance in it because it's just I know some people do and that's totally fine too it's just like not that important of a thing for me what's more important is just being able to run at all um, and do so you know as mindfully and as healthfully as possible but uh I, my pace is actually better when I do intervals, I think. So I need to get, I, tomorrow I absolutely must use my interval timer. It will keep me, I meant to go a little slower today. I meant to go a lot slower today. I meant to run more of like a 1230 minute mile and I ran like an 1105 minute mile. I'm just gonna look. I, I think that's what it said when I glanced at my watch. Again, I tried to show you, but I can't figure out how to get the camera to do what I want it to do. It's a learning curve. Well, hopefully we'll get there. Yeah, an 11.05, I was like, whoops. Uh, but honestly, when I'm like trained up fully, I'm, you know, I'm still coming off this injury. I've only been running since the beginning of the year again. And when I'm trained up fully and I do a two to one ratio, like a, no, 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 a four to one ratio, like a two minute walk, 30 second run, I can run that pace and feel really good for a longer period of time. I think I was just really excited and that's how I felt the whole race. I was like, Ehh. I tried to take a selfie in Epcot and I was like beaming so much that it like I took two and they were both completely fuzzy and one of them I'm like, Ehh. I call it my crazy selfie face. Whenever I'm in the middle of a race and I take a selfie, I just look like a little nutty because I'm just, that's how high the excitement levels are. But it was beautiful, such a fun course. It's a very typical Run Disney 5K that centers around Epcot. The first mile and a quarter, you're on like around the parking lot and in the road a bit, but you're so hyped and it's so fun. Um, they did have some character stops. I didn't really pay that close attention, to be honest. I knew I wasn't gonna stop the 5K lines. They're usually bananas. If I was, that's like a reason for me like to want to be faster is just so I could get to the characters when there's less of a line, but that's not, that's not a priority either. It just would be fun. Um, but the lines were really long at the beginning. I did take one picture towards the end with the Walt statue, which I actually hadn't seen yet in person. I've seen lots of pictures of it, lots of funny memes with it too. Um, but it was really, there was no line. We, basically it's just like a minute waiting there to because it was like one of those you just kind of walk past it, they take your picture, and that's it. Um, so I'm glad I got that picture. But it was really fun because for the first time I got to run up, although I don't know what that part of the park is called, I'm sorry, but the part that was boarded off for so long, um, right in front of the ball where the, the ball, <laughs> Spaceship Earth, where the Walt statue is, and they've like made all these gardens and everything. It's so pretty. And this was the first time I felt like we looped around that part. I feel like at Wine and Dine we went kind of on it, but not all the way. I really loved that. And I also, it was so interesting to run. There was just some little like turnouts in Epcot that I hadn't done, at least in recent memory. Um, so that kind of added a little variety to the course, but I just, I love the 5k course cause it's so much of it, like more than half of it is in, in Epcot. So it's really, really fun. And I love that they stuck with the new finish that they implemented at Wine and Dine, uh, where you go through the trees, the magical trees. I don't think I filmed that part. I'll try to remember to film it tomorrow. Again, I'm sorry, my cam I didn't know like the camera part was frustrating, but I was too busy having a good time to really like care that much, but. Yeah, it was really, really fun. Um, not much not much really to report about. I felt like they did a really good job with PhotoPass people for this 5K. I felt like there was a solid amount of them and um, I just, I don't know, it never felt like super crowded either. Um, that has a lot to do with where you are in your corral placement and how fast you go and because I, I, tr I ran like the first mile straight through, I think. Um, which I don't normally do in my everyday running. I don't run a mile straight through, um, which is fine. That's not even really like a goal of mine, but uh, I was just so excited. Uh, but that did give me a little bit um, of a push further up in the course. So I think it was probably a little less crowded around photo pass, but I'm curious to see how those photos come out. Okay, it's like 7.15 now. I'm going to shower and stretch a little bit 
and I'm going to get ready right away and head over to uh, Epcot this morning. They have extra magic hours for resort guests and I'm really hoping to get on Ratatouille if I can right away. I have, I did buy the, um, what's it called? Genie Plus really just so I could make sure I could get Soren. Like I would have paid money for, I would have paid that it was $18. I would have paid the $18 either for a fast pass, lightning lane, sorry, for Ratatouille ride or Soren. Um, but they, they don't have individual lightning lanes available for those rides. So I figured I'll spend the money. I got, when I looked at the return time for Ratatouille, it was already like seven o'clock at night. And I was like, well, I'm gonna be in bed at that time. So I, I went ahead and got it for Soren at 9.30. And then I bought the Lightning Lane for Guardians um, at 10, yeah, I can go anytime between 10 and 11. So I figure right when I get to the park, if I book it to Ratatouille, I might have a chance. We'll see. It's okay if it doesn't work out, but I'm gonna try. And uh, I'm gonna eat while I'm there too, I think. Although I might, if I have time, I might grab, uh, bring my cup for my tea and grab a croissant at the uh, Contembo Cafe. It always takes me a second to remember what that's called. So that's my plan. And I'm really I'm really hoping to not spend like the whole day at Epcot because I want to make sure that I'm resting well too and it's going to be another beautiful day so it'd be nice to come back in the afternoon and and sit with my book poolside again because that was really relaxing and fun yesterday. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to bring you guys with me though. It's, we're not, we're just doing full on travel vlogs with these races now because I'm just excited to share with you. And uh, that's what we do. All right, to the shower. <laughs> I keep thinking, to the forum. I always miss the rock and roller coaster ride. It's always like out of commission when I am here and I'm, whatever. I'll get on it at some point. Hopefully it's, it'll be back up and running for springtime surprise. Good news, you guys. My fitness ring has told me that I've hit my activity level for the day at the hour of 7.53. All right, I'm heading out. I've got mug for tea. I've got a jacket because it's still a bit chilly. I've got my vlogging. Oh, I need to turn my mic on. And of course, I'm trying to wear the medals and be less self-conscious about it. And yes, I am a 41 year old wearing, hold on. It's gonna focus on the camera, not on my face. It sparkles on my face. Cause you know what? We're celebrating. We're celebrating. All right, let's go get some tea and I mobile ordered a croissant for a little carb action. It's a beautiful morning. Oh, monorail, hold on. There she goes. Look at that. Perfect. All right, this is the walkway over to the main contemporary where the quick service is, all the restaurants really, and the monorail as well, which we're gonna take today. Got to change trains to get to Epcot, but it is really nice out. I love this hotel. It's just like classic Disney. <sighs> reminds me of, this reminds me of the hat that used to be in, uh, what did they used to call it? MGM Studios? It's a classic mural. Oh, it goes all the way up. And then this is where this is the quick service place. You can order here or do um, just order on the spot. I'm gonna go get my tea. Buy the refillable mug. You can fill up any time within 14 days. I like the tea station. It's worth it for me for that. Look at this. It's just so classic. I love it. It's beautiful out. We're going this way to early entry. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty outside. And we're in. Got here right like on the dot at 8.30. Perfect timing. In my experience, it generally takes, if you're not waiting too long, about a half an hour to do the double train 
thing uh, to get to Epcot from Bay Lake Tower. Uh, you gotta change trains, like I said, at the Ticket and Transportation Center, but at least if you go, I mean, I came with my kids just a couple months ago, and this is the time of day we tend to go to the park, so <laughs> that's how it worked out. Anyway, I'm booking it over to Remy's to see. kind of have to pee, but there might not be time for that. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Priorities, you know? <laughs> Rides over bladders. But you get to see the, um, we'll see some of the topiaries today and all that kind of fun stuff. You see the running Goofy? I'll try to zoom in in the edit. I can't get my zoom to work right now. He's running! I wonder if they did that with Princess and Springtime in mind. Running Goofy! There it is. I want to take bets on how long the wait already is. I'm going to say 45. Let's see. That was close. 50 minutes. It might have been 45, but I did stop go to the bathroom. I didn't think I was going to make it an hour. Sorry. That ride is so cute. My kids expressed some interest finally in going on it and we're talking it up for our next trip. So I went on it that way kind of thinking more about it. That was my second time ever on the ride. That time I went on it thinking more about, you know, through their perspective. And I think they'd love it, but we'll, we'll give it a try next time. <sighs> what a beautiful day, my goodness. Well, that took exactly 50 minutes on the dot. So, good timing, whoever does the timing on the ride lines. Good to see our favorite topiary friends. Just starting to get ready for um, guard, the Flower and Garden Festival. Now that we're going, uh, the main objectives for today, aside from the race, check, uh, were to do the Ratatouille ride, check. Soren, heading to now. My window for that just opened just a few minutes ago, so perfect timing. And Guardians, and my window for that is after. And then get something to eat. And that I have not made plans for, but we'll see what feels, um, you know, I don't know, fun, celebratory, fill in the blank at that point. Uh, the coffee, not coffee, tea and croissant are doing me well so far. But there's no like booths or anything. The art festival just ended a few days ago. So, I don't know, I have to think about what I want. But I do want to get like my big meal of the day here. And it wouldn't be a run Disney race if you didn't mention all the times that you ran past this place that you're now walking through. Yep, one of my personal favorite spots. I also really like the uh, Living at the Land ride. We'll see if there's time for that. It's really long. Nostalgia. See a theme here? I like the nostalgic like 80s, 90s stuff. Even though I didn't come here when I was a kid. Oh well. <laughs> Still like nostalgia. Said the standby time was 55 minutes for this. I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion, but I actually like the California version a lot. Apparently this is the last week it's here. Soren, here we go. This is the first time I've been able to cut across the center in a long time. And look at this building that's coming along. I know what this is going to be, but it's coming along, whatever it is. Soren was epic, as expected. Love that ride. It's my kid's favorite ride, too. One of their favorites. And uh, I'm heading right over to Guardians because it's the window. I don't want to miss it. And also, my tummy is a rumbling, so prioritizing that a bit, but Guardians first. I love that ride so much. I think this will be my third or fourth time going on it. Cumulatively, not in one trip. <laughs> oh, oh, and I found out this um, central area that I didn't know the name of earlier um, with the Walt statue is called World Celebration. Yeah. All right, here we go. Catch you on the flip side. I love that ride. It's definitely much like my favorite. No contest. So fun. <sighs> I never noticed before. I don't know if they say different things every time. I'm just starting to go on it enough to pick things up. Oh, I got September too, if you're wondering the song, um, which is also obviously a favorite. 
but I just noticed he said at the end, I can't remember who, who said one, Epcot's not a word. I'm sorry, guys, I don't know the names of any of these characters. And the other dude was like, yes, it does. It stands for every person comes out tired. It's like, that's accurate. <laughs> Speaking of which, I need to eat something. Eat something and do Spaceship Earth and go. Um, enjoy the beautiful weather by the pool, I think. So, I don't know what I'm going to eat. We're going to find something. So this is happening. Didn't even know this was available today. Just walked right past it. I was like, huh. Yeah, get a magnet. How funny is that? <laughs> That's hilarious. I did a mobile order. I've never been in here. So we'll check it out. It's not quite ready yet, but we'll go in and check it out. This is their bakery. Wow. Okay, so it looks like this side is a Starbucks. I'm guessing the food is on the other side. Look at all these teapots they have displayed in different countries. That's kind of neat. They're making the waffles. I ordered one of those. They're supposed to be good. I looked at a review at the waffles and a salad. General says chicken salad. That's his mobile order pickup. So I just gotta wait for a couple more minutes. A really big facility. There's lots of seating. It's really nice. Tell me that doesn't look delightful. So this is the General says chicken salad and the, I don't know how to say it, Liege not waffle? I'm not sure. Yum. That meal, excellent. Surprised. Honestly, it was excellent. If I was gonna give it an Adam Hatton five-star rating, I would give it five out of five. The chicken was delightful. It kind of reminded more like General Tso's chicken tenders, but I just cut them up and ate them with the salad. I think that's how it's intended. Delicious. And the waffle just surprised me with the texture and Mmm, so good. Ooh, it's windy right here. All right, well, I've got my, ooh, we're blown away. Um, I've got my Spaceship Earth, hold on. I'm trying to try not to lose my ears here. No idea where I am. Yes, go this way. Everything's open now, so I'm so confused. I'm used to everything being closed. I'm gonna do my Spaceship Earth, and then I'm gonna head out. I'm pretty tired. It's uh, like 12 something, what time is it? 12, it's 12. But uh, consider I've been awake since uh, 2.30 in the morning. So, starting to feel it. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. All right, spaceship Earth, and then we'll boogie back on the monorail and all that jazz. Hi Epcot, it's been real. You beautiful, beautiful ball. <laughs> uh, I'll see you in a couple months. It is windy out. <laughs> had a very relaxing, restful afternoon. It's 4.15 now and I got real hungry. So if you watched the last vlog, which happened to me yesterday and the time of filming here, I had bought a pickle, like a really big pickle, that ended up being such a good snack that I bought another one to have in my fridge for tomorrow if I want it. And also I got this overnight oats um, with blueberries and Walnuts and coconut milk and, you know, chia seeds and all that granola um, for breakfast, for breakfast tomorrow because I'm going to Gideon's in the morning and I'm not going to get a cup of tea so I don't over-caffeinate myself because I will be getting as big a cold brew as possible at Gideon's since it's such a rare treat for me. So I'm excited about that. But then I'm like really hungry, like ravenous, so I bought quite a bit of stuff for dinner. Let me show you. Okay, I had this when I was here with my kids back in December. Grilled cheese with tomato soup. Such a vibe. Tastes so good. And then I also got a Greek salad because I really just wanted something green. I didn't realize it would be this big, but you know what? It's salad and I'm going to eat it. I got some croutons to go with it. It comes with its own dressing. And that is dinner at 4.15. But I'm planning on going to bed in a few hours, so <laughs> it tracks. Anyway, my plan for the rest of the day is just to eat... Um, do some yoga, maybe some like really nice like yin stretchy yoga and take a bath and go to bed as early as possible because I ended up getting like five and a half give or take hours of sleep last night which isn't horrible but it wasn't continuous like I said I kept waking up because I was excited so I'm hoping because I'm really tired to get better sleep tonight and then we have an even earlier morning tomorrow 
I'm gonna get there even just a touch earlier than I did today so I'll probably wake up five to ten minutes earlier but we will continue on with that journey so I'm gonna do all those things but I'm gonna stop filming give myself a minute to continue decompressing and I will catch you in the morning for the 10k I'm gonna do the whole shebang that I always do where I lay out all my bits and bobs if you saw the last video I showed that there I'll try to remember to show it for the half marathon which is a different video in case you missed it but I do the same thing every time so I feel like most people who are here watching these videos already know what I'm gonna do all right I'll see you in the morning friends good night good morning from my kitchen mirror I, I don't know <laughs> Here we are. I'm recycling an outfit from last year. I wore it to Princess last year. I love this little Rapunzel bounding kind of spiel. The ears light up too. Uh, hold on. I'm like trying to decide if I can do this here. <gasps> I can. They're so cute. Hold on, let me flip you around. You can see them. <laughs> I love the sun. That's my favorite. Anyway, I'm really excited. For today, I slept really well actually, um, kind of my normal amount. I was so tired yesterday that I actually fell asleep at 7.30, <laughs> so um, that worked out. It's still like weird to wake up in the middle of the night though, you know? Okay, let me turn that off, grab all of my things, gonna get my sweatshirt on, my bag's all packed and ready to go, I just have to shove my couple of things in my pocket. Alright, here we are, off to, off to the races. Quite literally. I forgot my camera. I can't believe I forgot my camera. I have been so organized. Oh well, at least I have my phone. And I filmed the exciting parts of the course yesterday in the 5K, so I'll grab some shots where I can, but it's, uh, yeah. Oh well. What can you do? Life goes on. I like to take a picture of the uh, parking lane when I remember, because you can have the airtime. It's great, but it's nice to actually remember. This is why we bring the poncho to sit on in the corral. It's not raining and it's not s supposed to rain, hopefully, but uh, you can sit on it. Which is nice. We're a ball this morning. Wow. <laughs> Lots of Rapunzel's today. It is crowded. I love it. The more the merrier. And I love all the costumes. It's my favorite part. Well, one of my many favorite parts. Feeling good already. I love it already. Okay, I'm gonna head over to the start. So they added a crowd. Yesterday there was just A for D, and today there's A for D e and A is in a different location. Foundation our celebratory charity. Thank you. Thanks, Victoria. Good luck, everyone. Great work for they do. Okay, so, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
satisfying spin whoa so it just says run disney on the back um and i like that there's nothing to chip on the back <laughs> so that's good this is very cute i love this metal when i saw this on their spoilers i was like oh yes i am wearing my rapunzel costume again you guys 10k in the bag i'm so sorry i forgot my camera sitting right here right on the thing right here this whatever this is piece of furniture that's like a credenza and a bureau in one anyway i didn't film that much because i knew it wouldn't be as good honestly i don't know i don't know what the quality of the footage is on this yet but uh, i just assumed uh, but it was so fun so the first like three and a half miles are all road and that's very typical for this 10k they've done this course a lot in the last few years I actually really like it because it gets kind of like all the road bits out of the way and then the last half of the race is just like gravy it's all of my kind of my favorite parts of course running through the castle is the favorite part we don't do that on the 10k at least as of yet uh, but we dip into hollywood studios through the uh rock and roller coaster ride and i just i love the how they have the guitar the struts strut whatever the neck thing with the strings on it Yes, that was a technical term. And that's a photo op there, and how you get your Tower of Terror photo op. It's a very short time in Hollywood Studios. Do I wish it was a little bit longer? Yes. Do I wish we could run through the whole thing opposite from the way that we do uh, during the 10 miler? Yes, but we don't. So you get what you get. But I really like the course from there on out because you dip out of Hollywood Studios and you run along the pathway, the walkway to the Epcot resorts. And I know a lot of people find that like narrow and squeezy, but I really like it because it's just different than running on a road. It's more like running on a sidewalk, kind of what I'm used to doing at home. And plus then you dip into the um, boardwalk, which is one of my favorite spots to run in because of all the lights and the vibe. And there's a, there was a lot of photo pass people today, I feel like three or maybe even four photo pass stops. And I did, somebody told me to look out for that cake place and it's still closed. Um, it's not open yet, the new cake place, but y'all know how I feel about cake. We are getting cake today because we are going to Gideon's. And then it's right into Epcot and it's a shorter bit through Epcot than 5K, obviously where you go around the whole thing, but it's, you know, fun bits, a little bit, tiny bit of world showcase and then up through that world you know, we didn't go through World Celebration area, that like the new spot, but kind of the old course where you dip around and to the back lot and then out through the trees to the finish line in the parking lot. You know what I've noticed? There have been no janitors this race for the 5K or the 10K. And I feel like they're always out for every race. Am I wrong? Where are the janitors? They're usually by Mission Space or over, they were once they were closer to Galaxy, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, but I didn't see, I haven't seen them. So I'm like, 
Where are the janitors? I finally figured out how to say their name. Now that I'm saying it, I'm doubting that I'm saying it right. Anyway, it was so fun. I had a really good time. I don't know what my official, I wonder if they have that up yet. What's my bib number? 20, I had to like take my bib off and put it under something to, cause it's so crinkly and it was very humid today. I don't know if it was very humid. It was fairly humid today. It puts me at an 1148 minute mile um, for the unofficial uh, end time, I guess. And I did, on my watch I have a, like an 11.25 pace, but it's like 6.4 miles because I doubled back to go to a bathroom. I was like, yeah, I can make it. Then I was like, mm, I better just go. <laughs> and that's why in the second half of the course, yeah, things are, took a little longer. But it was so fun. You guys, I had such a blast. I love the 10K race. I was talking about it in line at the meet, the character meet line for Rapunzel after the race with a few of the other ladies standing there. It's just like the perfect amount of time. It's not too far to run. It's enough that you can really like sink your teeth in, like feel um, like really immersed in the run Disney vibe and enjoy it, but it's, you're not like super wiped after. It's just, uh, I love it so much. Um, surprised myself with that. I did a two to one ratio for run walk. I did use my interval timer more or less um, and so I did one minute run, 30 second walks. And that's a pretty good, I mean, considering um, last season I was doing four to one ratio, I was doing two minute run, one 30 second walk uh, ratio. And I'm like hitting, am I even hitting better times? I don't even know. I don't, I can't remember what I did last season. Cause I really, I just find the times interesting that they don't hold a huge amount of significance for me. In fact, other than just being curious about it, uh, but I will say that I do feel stronger, um, and it's all this rehab and strength training, and I think it's really, yeah, kind of pivoting to focusing more on that and less running is better for me, at least right now in this stage, but uh, so fun, so, so fun. I wanted to say, um, I saw it before the start, even as I was walking in, like past the where I take the spaceship Earth photo every morning for a race, I saw one of my wanderers, one of my community members, Kim, I think, and she gave me this bracelet, which says Run Princess on it, which was so sweet. I made bracelets for my wanderers, too. They look like this, these little ones that say magic on them with the sparkly beads. Um, so it's been, it's a fun thing that I'm doing. I knew I wanted to do this season, and um, it's been fun to exchange bracelets and, and just like meet people and yeah so that's it okay um uh, box is the same as yesterday so i'm not going to refilm it i always get the yellow power aid um i do appreciate that they put the tostitos in i just would like like if we're asking for gifts from the universe i would like them to put like the regular tostitos in not the like less fattening ones i want like the full fat with all the salt it's really the salt i want to be honest and I think I'm gonna be very glad I bought that pickle. So the plan now at 7.30, I'm going to warm up in the shower. I wanna make sure, I've not been good at doing yoga or stretching well since I've been here, so I wanna make sure I get a good stretch in. And then I'm going to um, Disney Springs. I'm gonna get there right when they open the garage at nine, hopefully, and um, get in line for Gideon. It's gonna be a beautiful morning for waiting, I think. Bring a book and get my cold brew and cake. And then I am actually meeting a friend and her husband for brunch, which is really fun. So I'll bring you with me for parts that I probably won't film a lot of brunch. I'll show you the food though, because you know, as we do. But yeah, stretch, shower stretch. I'm definitely gonna eat that overnight oats I bought because I am hungry and we'll mosey on. Is there anything better than Disney Springs first thing in the morning? I'm not sure there is. Um, trying to figure out where I am. I know where I am. Okay, let's go to Gideon's. Look at the ducks just hanging out. Oh, wow, the line is long already. Oh my gosh. Oh, we still got some uh, wall space to sit on. Oh, not too bad. That's amazing. I'm not good at pokey butter. Oh my god. I like chocolate though, so I'm looking at this is special flavor. The eternal flavor is our, one of our monthlies. Okay. However, it is spicy. It does oh, it's have spicy. Hot beer and oh. 
Yeah, the rainbow cake looks fun too. Mm. I don't know, for me it's between now, it's between the rainbow and the cookie. I just spent the entire hour chatting with a couple of my wanderers. It was so lovely. I spent a lot of time with Lindsay and her brother, Tommy came too, so that was really fun. And I got to see Marissa. Guys, I love you so much. Thank you for being part, part of my community and just hanging with me. It was really fun. Got my peanut butter cold brew. So good. And I got the rainbow crunch cake this time. They were very low on cakes. So I feel like they usually have one more cake. And um, I always want to try it, but then I always want something else a little bit more and I can only get one slice. <laughs> one slice goes a long way, but I got the rainbow crunch cake and I will show it to you later. Um, and we'll taste it, we'll do a little YouTube taste test. Anyway, I'm meeting up with a friend now for a brunch at the boathouse. Um, so like I said, I'll probably just show you the food, but I'm not going to interrupt our time um, to film. But I don't know if I'm going to do any shopping while I'm here. There's something I'm really like burning desire to go see, and I'm going to be back in two months for springtime. So I do like to go see what personalized things they have at the, um, what's it called? The Christmas shop, but I don't know if I can get there and back in time for the reservation. Think about that. You can always come in springtime too. Happy girl with my cold brew though. I'm gonna be really hyped up later. This is a lot of coffee for me. Hello my friends. I'm sorry for the um, loud air conditioning, but it's necessary. I'm actually back at the expo. I don't always end up back at the expo. I'm not really sure. Um, I do know today. Today I'm back at the expo because I just dropped my friend and her husband off here. She's doing the, she came in for the half and so she's picking up her stuff today. And, um, I was happy to drive them over here from Disney Springs because they don't have a vehicle. And now I had to go to the bathroom. So I went in and went to the bathroom and that's all I did here. But now I'm going to go to Target. So if you watched the last video, which ended, you know, yesterday in my real life, but last week in your video life. I had ordered, I have a, a subscription to ship it, which is the delivery service that Target uses. And I had ordered on Thursday from Target with a delivery uh, between 5 and 6 p.m. on Thursday. That delivery never came Thursday, nor did it come on Friday. And I even checked with Bell Services just in case it was like wrong, because on the app it tells you like the shopping was complete and the order was out for delivery, it was just never delivered. Well, it never got delivered and then eventually got returned um, later yesterday. I don't know what happened. They deliver to the hotels all the time, so I'm not really sure what happened. I didn't really need anything, like the, my Epsom salts and the peanut butter and like things like that are nice to have, they're not need to have, but it's only 12, what, 20? And I don't have any other plans for today, although it's beautiful, I do want to go sit outside by the pool in the shade with my book, but I'm gonna run to Target now because I do want to take an Epsom salt bath, at least tonight and tomorrow since I'm going and hoping they have Epsom salts. And I'm going to get some more of the little peanut butter cups, but everything else I don't really think I need much else. So it's a bummer that the delivery never made it, but at least I got refunded and I have the time to go today. But it was a really nice lunch, it was so nice to catch up with my friend and um, oh, so fun to spend time with a couple of my community members at the at Gideon's and just it's been a very chatty social day uh, which is really nice um, yeah I'll talk more about about you know being here solo and stuff I just like to talk about it because I feel like not I don't know I guess I don't watch that many other creators but I feel like people don't really talk about the solo aspects of these events and it, it can be really really fun even if you like even if I hadn't happened to hook up with a friend today it still would have been a really fun social chatty day between all of the chats that I had between the parking lot and the end of the race, you know, every, you know, standing in line for the character meet and greets after the race to seeing some of my community members today, you know, like having a, like a buddy come, it's just like the icing on the cake, but it's still icing, you know, it's still cake. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Speaking of cake, I don't want to stay out too long because I don't want my cake to melt. All right, let's go to Target and get a couple things. Hello, I'm back from Target. I thought I would show you a little Target haul for you. 
these are the things I typically buy pretty much every trip, give or take. Um, sometimes I can go two trips without buying the, the peanut butters, which will be the case for the next race, but then I'll have to buy some new ones for uh, wine and dine probably. But I got some Jif to go, um, the natural creamy peanut butter. I take one of these with one of these honey steaming waffles and a banana as my corral breakfast. I've shown it before. I'm sure I will show it again. Um, so that will stay in my owner's locker. And if you missed the last video where I shared about the owner's locker, it's basically a storage box that I rent from a local company that keeps the box in a climate controlled facility for you. Really useful if you come to Disney a lot. I come a lot for run Disney, so I, that's the box for that. Um, I find for just like one trip a year with the kids, I don't really need it. Although I'm sure, you know, whatever, don't let them. what I do influence what you do. But because I'm coming several times a year for Run Disney, it makes it so I only ever have to bring carry-on luggage and not packed luggage because I can leave so many things here. Like mouthwash. Mouthwash. And I bought more floss because I ran out of my travel floss. And then gum. Those things might more or less come with me. I don't chew gum a lot, but I do like it to have some on hand for races in case I get in my head or hit a wall, as they say. Um, apparently hitting a wall is more of a physiological thing, but for me there's a, a mental wall sometimes in longer races. Gum can help break that up. And then the Epsom salts I will use, I know this is a big bag, small tub, but a, a lot goes a little way in my experience the more the better so this for me will be great for a bath later tonight and then a bath tomorrow that's that's the plan with that stuff and that's all i got from target um i did get to get the cold brew as i showed you i got the large thinking i would drink it all but then i went to brunch pretty soon after and it was just like too filling to have the coffee and the food too and then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna save this for tomorrow, extend the cold brew joy, just add ice to it tomorrow. So I'm gonna put that in my fridge. I think it should be fine. And of course I got cake. First I did, I don't think I, I was so busy flapping my trap with people, like between the race and now that I didn't really show you that much, but this is, they always give you a menu card, which I, as a scrapbooker, appreciate because I use it in my memory keeping projects. Um, so cute, and they change them out, I think monthly. And I got a sticker, because if you know, you know, I am a sticker person. And then, as I mentioned, I know I talked about this, I did get the rainbow crunch cake. Um, I have absolutely zero desire to eat it right now, because <laughs> I'm very full. That's with a piece of paper on top. I'll show you the cake with the paper removed later. Here's the thing though, I keep buying desserts and not eating them, which is really weird. Honestly, I'm a sweet tooth, I always have been. And I found once I hit 40 last year, my sweet tooth desires have decreased, increasingly decreased with time. Now I'm 41. So I bought a Mickey ice cream sandwich a couple nights ago. It's still in the freezer. I don't know if this is like a real freezer in the fridge here, but it's still in there. I bought a chocolate covered Rice Krispie treat still sitting in my um, kitchen over there. I didn't eat the Rice Krispie treat they gave us with Club Run Disney. Actually, maybe I'll bring those home for the kids because they would like, oh, I better get them the same one though. They will fight if they have different ones. Maybe I'll buy another chocolate covered one and bring the two of them home. If you're like, why aren't you buying souvenirs for the kids? Because I know it's a legit question, I get it. Um, we were just here in late December, like right before New Year's. The kids bought plenty of souvenirs then. They have a very they have a very generous mommy when it comes to Disney souvenirs. And then we went on a cruise and bought more souvenirs, Disney cruise. We're going on another Disney cruise very soon. And we're going back to Disney World in the fall. So there's no shortage of opportunities and I'd much rather they pick out their own souvenirs. Plus Easter's coming up and all that. But I will bring them home something you know, most of the time, like I brought them home little lightsaber keychains before, which they liked. Um, sometimes I'll bring them home the Rice Krispies if they get excited about. They're not big sweets person, so they don't, like I would bring home the Gideon's Cookies if they like those, and I did that for the first, I think the first Run Disney event I did in my Run Disney 2.0 here, post having children. Because if you know, you know, I started um, with Run Disney back in 20, 
2012 and 2013, and then I took an eight-year hi hiatus until Wine and Dine 2021. Anyway, I brought them back at Gideon's Cookie in one of the first races in my post mommyhood return to Ren Disney, and they just weren't fans. They don't love sweets as much as I did as a child, or even still do. So, anyway, that's what I bought. I have here. This is the bag from the Expo. It's actually filled with laundry and my laundry detergent. So I'm gonna go find the laundry room and put a load in if there's availability for that. And then I'm gonna take, I've got my little backpack there too because I'm not gonna come back to the room. Um, I need to drink the Powerade that's in there and I'm gonna go down to the pool. It's really nice out. It's like 72 or something and just gorgeous. And I'm gonna sit and read by the pool I want to make sure I get back in enough time to do some yoga today and I think I'll just read while the clothes are in the wash cycle and then I'll come back for the dry cycle, do my yoga, catch up with you then. But the meal was so good. I've been wanting to do the brunch at the boathouse for a while. The rolls, if you know, you know what the rolls. It's their regular like, I think they're called like Parker House style rolls. I'm not exactly sure. But they put this like cinnamon glazed icing on top so they're like a lighter version of a cinnamon roll it's perfect i wish all cinnamon rolls were like that personally because sometimes the cinnamon roll can be just like too much too much um so good and then i took a little video but i didn't want to interrupt my time with my my friends so um i had the tacos with beef and potatoes and eggs so yummy. I am stuffed. Between the cold brew and that, I'm like stuffed. So that probably going to be my big meal of the day, which is how I tend to do run Disney events. Is I'll have like my corral breakfast, something else kind of small to tide me over until I can get to my big meal. So today I had the overnight oats. Sometimes I'll grab just a croissant for a little carb loading. Um, didn't have one today, but probably will have one tomorrow and then the big meal with them which was great and then I'll probably get another one of the salads from the quick service from uh, Contendo Cafe but we'll do all that together so okay I'm gonna go hang out and I'll catch you on the flip side what's the pool that way which way would that be no I'm kidding okay here's the laundry room really ample size three full-size washers and six dryers and area to fold you have to buy detergent if you don't have your own. I have my own. You don't have to pay for the washers or dryers, but you need to have your room key to a room in this building. They like tower to use it, so you can't just like waltz over here and use the free washing machine. But yeah, I've got my load in. I'm gonna go to that side for a little bit and then come back and switch room, do a switcheroo. I'm gonna order something, I think. Just a salad would be perfect and still fairly, the bowls, the rice bowls are really nice too if you want like more carb loading. Honestly, I felt like I got plenty of carbs from that um, brunch. So I really do, if you saw the last video, I really do like this power green salad. And I've had their chicken Caesar. It's, it's pretty good. I have to decide which one sounds better to me. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. You know what? I think I want the chicken Caesar. It's a little less nutritious, nutrition, nutritious, nutritious, but the heart wants what it wants. I don't know if I'm going to eat my pickle today. Do I need to pick up anything else? Oh, oh, I was going to order another one of those, um, Mickey Rice crispy treats for my kids. Oh, do they not have them? Oh no, they still have it. All right, I'll get another one of these for, so I have two, <laughs> one to bring to, for each child. Uh, I think that's all I'm going to get. I love the mobile order. It's such a nice feature. It confused the heck out of me the first time, but now I'm like, yes, 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 I can do this. So I'm going to pay for this, uh, and then we'll head over and get it, and I'm going to kind of wrap up my day. I've gotten my laundry back. I've folded everything. All right, kids, it's 4.40, just about. And here's what's happening. Today was perfect. It really was. I spent so much of the day connecting with people, which was really lovely. 
Uh, of course, I saw somebody I already knew, as you know, but I met so many other people, especially from my community, as I mentioned, when I was down reading at the pool. I didn't actually ever get out my book because we just talked the whole time. Um, I saw another one of my uh, community members who I met at the expo, and she happens to be staying here as well, and we got to chatting. I had a really nice chat, so um, Emily, it was nice to chat with you if you see this. And it was just like the whole day was very, very connecting for me. And it feels really, really good. As a person who does a lot of things, you know, by choice, really. And sometimes not by choice, but mostly by choice, solo. It's really nice to feel that connection. And I feel myself getting more secure in, um, I don't know, I'm just more confident as I'm more secure in myself in connecting with others and it's been a really beautiful thing and run disney has been an excellent way for me to do that to push myself a little bit out of my comfort zone and really make some beautiful connections um you know like i said with people i know who and with people who know me and with people whom i neither know nor know me it's just it's been wonderful and i've that's i think that's one of the main reasons i love it so much because it's a totally, I don't want to say it's like a totally different experience for me, but it's a different experience for me that I don't really have access to other places at this point. But some of that is self-imposed and some of it is situational. And, uh, you know, you just got to try to be as honest with yourself as possible. But it's been fun. It's been fun. So I picked up my salad, which I'm gonna eat now because my appetite just came back. We sat down for brunch at like 10.45. I think we had our food by like 11.15. It's almost five, I'm still full. <laughs> that was really good. It was really, really good. I highly recommend the boathouse. I like their menu all the time, but the brunch was really nice and I'm glad we did that. So I'll show you, I've got, well here, let me flip you around and I'll show you. All right, it's a little sunny, so I'll try to block the sun. We've got the Chicken Caesar salad. I like that they put the dressing on the side so I can do it as I like and croutons and such. I did buy another one of these so now I have two, one for each child, so you know. I got a cup of tea that I will heat up later um, in the princess mug that I got from Expo. I wouldn't put this in the microwave because it's plastic. Uh, but this is a, the, I think I shared this yesterday. Yeah, I did. I still am rehydrating so I've got some liquid IV immunity support which is my favorite travel um, electrolytes. I take them on every trip, not just running or fitness endeavored <laughs> travel. Um, so I've got that in there and I've been drinking that. And then I've already gone ahead and set up for tomorrow. So since I didn't show this for the 10K, I thought I'd show you for the half. So um, I have everything laid out. So first of all, the outfit for tomorrow is <laughs> my last outfit in my little packing cubes here. <laughs> These are empty. Um, actually, it's not my last outfit because I have yoga the next day. Right. We'll, that will all be in one video together um, with the half marathon. But I've got, I'm Tiana bounding for the half marathon. So I got that running dress, my biker shorts, sports bra and undies in there. And then I have my shoes that I'm wearing tomorrow. I have two pairs of running shoes when I'm doing stacked races so I can alternate better for my feet. And I've got my socks and my body glide in there just so I, that the body glide is really the only place that I put it is on my feet unless I'm doing a very hot race and then I'll put a little bit where the seam of whatever I'm wearing rub, might rub against my arms because when I'm carrying a camera I get some chafing from holding something in my hand. It adds, don't ask, it just adds extra weight to the arm but otherwise I don't normally have a problem with that. But body glide you can use all over. Okay, other parts of the outfit, of course, we have the, my bib has seen better days. It's like a little worse for the wear, but that's okay. I will wear my donatable uh, zip-up hoodie to get there. Oh, I should also add that I am taking the monorail for the first time to a race um, because they close World Drive, which is the road, that the only road basically to get to this hotel. They close it for the entirety of the race, more or less, and I just don't want to risk it with driving. Uh, I don't even know if it's possible. So I'm going to take the monorail, which is what everybody on the, uh, in the resorts has to do. Um, in the Magic Kingdom resorts has to do. There's no bus because they close the road. So I'm doing things a little bit differently. I won't have my car to leave stuff in. 
Okay, so I've got already my bib sash from Crowned attached with the big magnets and my <laughs> beat up uh, bib there. So that's to wear. I've got, of course, you know, I've got ears, light up scrunchie. This is stuff that will go into corral with me. So I am doing, also doing gear check for the first time ever. I've never done that. So I got to look into that and make sure I understand exactly what to do with that. Uh, but I've got all of my corral breakfast and my hydration for before, right at the start and then throughout the race. And then I have the things that I will put in my pocket. I just bring a little water for the corral and then I toss it. Um, to, to, to take my first gel with, or take with my first gel, I should say, and then I will toss it before I get going. And then this is these are the things that are going in my gear check bag, because all that will come be either on me or come with me, and I will consume slash put in my pockets. So we've got the gear check bag. Oh, I think there's directions on this. Is there? I think they put your bib number on for you. I don't have a Sharpie, so I'm gonna hope that they do that, but I'll look at the um, digital event guide and just make sure. So, uh, things that actually might come to the crowd with me, depending on how cool it is, is I have a Mylar for my legs and gloves for my hands. Um, if, it, if I get there and I'm like, eh, I don't really need them, at least I will have brought them and I can make a game time decision and I'll just put in my gear check bag and save them for another race. I've got sunglasses for after, could bring them through because I, I will be running in the sun, but I just don't want to bother. Um, and I am bringing, they do give you a power rate at the end of the races, but I like to replenish with this first because I do sweat so much and this is a higher amount of sodium if I'm not mistaken. Do not quote me on that. But um, I am going to pour this into the water for, I don't know how long it will take to get back to the resort. So um, that's the plan with that. And then I have a jacket because I won't have the donatable anymore since I will be leaving that at the start. I have a jacket because I always, no matter what the temperature is, I always get a little chilled after a race because again, it sweats so much. And uh, I am gonna pop my air tag in there just for safety. That's, I think that's everything that's coming with me. That's the plan. And I'm gonna leave you now here because I've been talking for like seven minutes and I'm gonna run my bath. Uh, well, I'm gonna eat the salad and then I'm gonna run my bath, have a nice long soak in the Epsom salts and one of the little bath bombs that I brought with me and just chill, get my thoughts organized for tomorrow and um, get in bed real early. Uh, last night I was out by 7.30 and that was perfection. I slept the amount that I usually sleep at home when I'm not waking up at 2.30 in the morning, and it was perfect, um, and I would like to repeat that if possible. But yeah, that's that's the rest of my night, and that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me for the 5K and 10K days. It's been so fun um, to share with you. As you can see, I haven't been vlogging as much in the afternoons when I'm just kind of like taking it easy around the hotel, but I'm basically showing you all of the things of interest that I'm doing. So I hope, I hope it has been interesting in some way, shape or form. And then the next and last video of this series will be uh, tomorrow with the half marathon and all that I get up to. I still don't, haven't really figured out my plans, but what I get up to. And then Monday we'll, we'll wrap up with the yoga. So I'm interested to see how that goes. And then I got to skate that all to the airport after that. So um, that's the plan. Thank you for joining along. If you want to see how the journey concludes, um, stay tuned for the next video and I will be back real soon with um, more adventures, I hope. So take very good care. Happy running, happy trails, wishing you many magical miles, no matter how you traverse them, literally or figuratively. And um, thank you for being here. Take good care, friends. Bye tacking this onto the end here because I can't not show you the cake. I want to have a bite, but I want to show you while well, it still looks like in its full form, <laughs> but I want to have a bite. So I think it got a little smushy in my car. It's usually it's a little cleaner than that, but oh, come the heck on. I've got tea. I'm going to have a couple bites of this. It's my little nightcap. I'm so excited. Okay. See you in the next one, friends. Enjoy the cake bath.